So you will be technically judged on your requirement analysis. You will be technically judged on your entity analysis that whether you are able to figure out the entities properly or not. So these are some of the key pointers that you should always keep in mind. So this particular problem statement that I'm going to talk about is asked to uh, more than three friends of mine. So what this problem statement was and the interviewers were asking constant questions on every design choice that you are actually taking. So the class implementations and the entity designs were actually at most important here. Right. These machine coding rounds can be, uh, I would say, a bit challenging in case. So there was some kind of lead code related problem, which they actually modified into a low level design problem. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm Sanket Singh and welcome back to my channel. So guys, in this particular video, I'm going to talk about machine coding round related problems that are asked in Uber. So recently, a lot of friends of mine actually interviewed for Uber because in the last couple of quarters, Uber was hiring a lot, right? A lot of friends of mine actually appeared for Uber coding interviews for the L4 and the L5 roles. In these interviews, one common round that actually happens with most of the candidates is the machine coding round which is kind of like the low-level design actual hands-on coding round where you might be given a problem statement and you have to code an end-to-end -end working solution for that, right? So in this particular video, I'm going to actually talk about the three most frequently asked questions that was asked to a lot of friends of mine. And apart from that, I did a bit of, lead, uh, so I would say, research on lead code and figured out what are some of the very commonly asked problems that are asked in Uber-related machine coding routes, right? This video can be helpful for you in case you are also preparing for Uber's machine coding round because these kind of problems and similar to these kind of problems only will be asked to you as well in your machine coding rounds at Uber. So without any further ado, let's just start. But before starting the video, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, do consider subscribing to the channel. We are going to put tons and tons of awesome content around tech and career on this particular channel. So let's just start. So before moving forward, I would like to discuss about a brand new offering that we have at AlgoCamp. So if you are somebody who already knows software development and are very much intrigued by the crazy amount of stuff that you can actually develop using the knowledge of your software development, then this is going to be something interesting for you. So if you are somebody who loves to take deeper dive into everything and wants to understand that how exactly scalable systems are developed, not just on the high level part, but on the low level coding implementation part as well, then we have actually launched our brand new system design course which includes both the low level design aspect and the high level design aspect of the scalable systems. In this particular course, with respect to HLD, we are going to talk about a lot of systems, including system design of things like Uber, streaming systems like Netflix, how you can actually design your own ad click aggregator, how you can design scalable notifications, how you can design code deployment systems and many more. There are tons and tons of high level design problems that we have added. Apart from that, there are a lot of interesting system design concepts that we have actually added, including design patterns like Saga pattern, anti-corruption layer pattern. We have also added orchestration pattern and some other interesting aspects around caching layer, blob storages and whatnot. This is going to be a power packed course for high level design. And along with that, there is low level design as well, where we are going to talk about solid principle. We are going to talk about tons and tons of different design patterns. And we are going to solve a lot of problems, including designing your own logger, designing kind of like a chess game, designing kind of like a book my show system, a split wise and whatnot. This low level design part is going to technically prepare you for any kind of a low level design or object oriented interview, as well as for your machine coding interviews as well. This is going to be a definitely a power packed live course where we are going to talk about everything end to end in system design and we have also added some additional topics around concurrency and testing as well so what are you waiting for all the details about this particular course is actually mentioned in the description section below go there check it out and use this particular coupon code to actually get the maximum possible discount and see you guys in the course that being said let's go back to the video so first of all, before we jump on towards the question, let's first of all understand what's the expectation in machine coding rounds at Uber. So in Uber, whenever you will be given a machine coding round uh, and this round generally goes on for like 60 odd minutes, right? it's not a 90 minute round. Uh, as you might see in companies like Flipkart and all, this is a 60 minute round. In this 60 minute round, this is a highly likely chance you'll be given a very open-ended problem statement. You have to focus on the fact that you actually understand the problem statement properly, get all the requirements done, then start actually understanding what all entities are actually involved in the overall system. 
and start writing your solution in as clean fashion as possible. So you will be technically judged on your requirement analysis. You will be technically judged on your entity analysis that whether you are able to figure out the entities properly or not. Apart from that, the cleanliness of the code and the maintainability of the code that you're going to write is also going to be judged. In case there are some advanced computer science concepts like maybe something like concurrency or something, then you are going to be judged on that as well based on problem statement to problem statement. So these are some of the key pointers that you should always keep in mind. And apart from that, if there are some other important expected necessary things, then your HR might also communicate that with you. But these four to five points are something that you should always and always keep in mind. One important thing that as far as I know, there is no restriction in terms of the language. You can pick any object oriented language or any language that you are comfortable with. It's just that whatever language you are picking in that particular language, you should implement as good solution as possible. So in case you have that question, so feel free. You can actually choose any one of the languages that you are already comfortable with. There is no language bar at all. So this particular problem statement that I'm going to talk about is asked to uh, more than three friends of mine. So what this problem statement was, so the problem statement is to design book my show. That's it. That is the only thing in the problem statement that you have to design book my show. Now with this particular problem statement, uh, the candidates are expected to actually figure out what are the requirements of the, uh, I would say interviewer and the overall problem, then actually start the entity analysis and then actually start coding the solution as well. So in this book my show, the most of the interviewers that were actually taking the interview rounds were actually focusing on the fact that how you are actually structuring the entities, right? How you are going to maintain the bookings, how you are going to maintain the seats, how you are going to maintain the theaters, right? How you are going to maintain the users, right? How these classes are going to be interrelated to each other, right? For each classes, whether you are following kind of like a builder or not, right? And then how exactly you are going to implement the booking scenario. Now, again, as I mentioned that in like in a lot of videos of mine, I've already mentioned that in machine coding round, you have to actually implement the service layer logic. So here as well, you might be actually interacting with a lot of concurrency issues because let's say two people are trying to actually access the same seat or book the same seat. How can you actually handle that? Right, so you need to actually also keep in, in keep in mind all the synchronization related issues that can come up in the system. And apart from that, you also need to make sure that the code that you're writing is as clean as possible and as maintainable as possible. With my friends who were asked this particular question, the final, uh, I would say, structure was not actually, uh, I would say, uh, run. Right, there was no driver class actually expected with any of my, uh, any of my friends. So that is something that you can keep in mind that there might be a case that you might need, not need to implement any kind of a driver class, but a uh, remaining set of the class implementation will be thoroughly checked. And the interviewers were asking constant questions on every design choice that you are actually taking, every design pattern that you are actually implementing. So this was the first problem that was asked very recently in Uber. So the second most frequently asked problem was to design any kind of a social media. So few of the people I, I was able to read on LeetCode were actually asked to design something like Twitter. Few of the people were actually asked to design something like Facebook, right? So it's kind of like a general social media design where you will be actually creating all the relevant entities. And in this kind of problem, the entity design can be very complex. Why? Because there will be users. Users will be able to follow each other. Users will be able to create posts. People can actually comment on a post. People can actually comment on a comment. People can actually like a comment, like a post, right? And so on. So there is very complex entity relationship that can exist here. So the class implementations and the entity designs were actually at most important here. Apart from that, you, uh, there were like different requirement analysis given that what can be different, different situations that they have to implement, right? So this was the second most frequently asked problem that I was actually able to see in the Uber machine coding rounds as well. So in problem number three, I'm going to talk about two to three problems which were like very frequently asked. So a few of, uh, I would say, uh, the research that I did and a few of the, my friends were actually asked questions around some kind of a scheduler. It can be a job scheduler or a meeting room scheduler or so on. So these different, different scheduler related problems were there. And a few people were actually asked to design Kafka-based streaming related systems where you might have, you, you might be having a lot of incoming data which you might have to stream and then process as well. So these are the other set of problems that you can technically expect. Apart from that, sometimes a few questions can be also very domain specific that you might have actually worked with, right? That will actually require you to have a certain kind of a domain knowledge as well, right? These machine coding rounds can be, uh, I would say a bit challenging in case a lot of questions and a lot of, uh, I would say implementations are done related to concurrency and uh, I would say threads and everything. So always keep in mind that apart from your regular low level design and design pattern uh, theory, 
always try to learn before if you are appearing for the uber interviews always try to learn these kind of uh, i would say specialized uh, things like for example how exactly threads threads are managed how will you manage multiple threads how will you manage concurrency related situations and so on and sometimes they might also ask you to code some advanced data structures like something like quad trees as well right because uh, quad trees is something that is used a lot in geo hashing and geo location based databases right so if you can code your own quad trees and, and and handle all of the situations in as clean manner as possible this would be pretty nice so a lot of time a few friends also mentioned that there were some kind of a lead code related problem because as you can see coding a quad tree is also kind of like a lead code problem only so there was some kind of a lead code related problem which they actually modified into a low level design problem only so if you have good knowledge around those dsa problems things should be technically sorted for you so this was kind of like the category of the third set of problems that are very frequently asked in uber so that was it for this particular video guys these were the three different set of problems that i saw uh, first was booking related system second was social media related system third was some kind of a specialization system altogether right if you have your upcoming machine coding round at uber do let me know how you are actually preparing and once your interviews are done you will be actually happy to know your interview experiences as well and if you want me to actually make a video on the high level design questions that is asked in uber then also do let me know because in uber there are some very frequently asked high level design round questions as well that mostly are getting repeated in the uber interviews so if you want me to make a video on that drop uh, your thoughts in the comment section below i would be happy to make one as well that being said let's wrap this particular video here and we are going to meet you in the next set of videos where we are going to continue our discussion on tech and career till then take care bye bye i'm sankit singh signing off